Welcome to True Future, a podcast about getting ahead by getting out of your head. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi. Hope you're having a great week. Yeah. This is Kai Clay and my daughter. Sarah Clay. That's right. Founders of Spiritual Mind Center in New York. You're listening to True Future Podcast, the show that brings you family-friendly wisdom, empowerment, metaphysical path to spiritual growth, and success both in real time and from the eternal. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Hope you're having a great week. We sure are, aren't we? Yeah. What is the most fun thing that we did this week? Well, we went swimming, we had fun. We did. We've been doing that a lot, haven't we? Yes. We have. (laughs) And we have a great show for you this week, don't we? Yes, we do. We've got some excellent questions from all of you, so thank you very much for that. We certainly appreciate it. You going out of your way to let us know what you'd like to talk about. And what's the most exciting thing you and Balan talked about? Growth. Yes. Right? And you didn't just talk a little bit. You talked a lot, didn't you? Yes, I did. That's a favorite subject around here. Growth, right? Yes. What's the other favorite subject you guys talked about? Do you remember? The spirits and growth. How many are there? Yeah, that's right. You, um, you and Bahvon really tried to bring some new dimension to the idea of spirit, didn't you? Yes, we have. We're very excited to share this week's episode with all of you. We hope that you are doing well, and thank you again for tuning in. First question we have today is how the earth grow. Ooh, the grow of the earth. Place of the earth to grow from the small to the current. You always ask the good one. <laughs> we want to start with love. <laughs> there is a reason why the earth is filled. There is a reason why this place and time is filled with so many of you. <laughs> We are not just talking about the geographic grow of this place. We are talking about the heart grow of this place. We are looking at the way things transpire here between all of you. You understand? Yes. Grow and love are the same. (laughs) There is no grow without love. There is no future without the grow of love. You understand? Yes. That is the source. That is the place. That is the where all of you choose. There are some who choose to not. There are some who choose to grow. It is entirely your own choice. While we, with a great deal of care, can see and feel your questions around the grow and the love and this realm. We always see that there is a needle that can be threaded by any of you at any given moment. You understand? Yes. There is sometimes the perception of the loss. There is sometimes the perception of the doubt. There is sometimes the perception of the lack of growth, the lack of progress, the lack of the ingredient to bake your cake. You understand? Yes. However, we share that needle you wish to thread, that cake you wish to bake always has within your grasp, the access to the ingredients. 
<laughs> you understand? Yes. And the main, the only, the single top ingredient that is required is love. <laughs> We are talking about eternal love. We are talking about eternal growth. We are talking about eternal quality and access. We are talking about the endless and the non-stop growth that is available to you all. You understand? Yes. How that can come about. <laughs> Do you have another question? Or shall we continue about growth? Continue about growth. We are happy to continue about growth, for you are in that process, aren't you? Growing. And how are your growing going? <laughs> As many of those others that you know are also in the process of growing, we find it fascinating, the different energy that one of you have, another of you have, a triple of you have, depending on where you are in your own learning about grow. Some of you look like a child. Child's body, child's life, child's happy, child's smile. Our perception of your energy while looking like a child, sometimes is of you as your full and complete eternal self. So while you are having a child experience, we perceive your energy as something entirely different. You understand? Yes. So the question of grow while you are here in this realm is one of complexity that we tremendously enjoy, for there is the balance of your own perception of your grow, and then there is the perception from the universal side. You understand? Yes. For we can see how the parts fit together. We can see where the places were previously and after. We can see where each of you are in your experience of your own grow, and we can also see where those experiences are potentially leading in this very moment. You understand? Yes. <laughs> it is a bit like, how do you say, eat your broccoli? <laughs> Yum. <laughs> or your beans. <laughs> or your veggies. <laughs> what do you think about those? <laughs> yes, we know. You always grow well. What else may we offer? Hi, this is Kai Clay. Thank you for listening to our episode. We're excited to share the answers that Sarah asked Bahlan this week from our listeners. If you're listening to this and you hear Sarah or Bahlan speaking in light language, the language of light from the cosmos, and it's something that's new to you and you'd like to learn more, please go back to episode one or episode two where we spend a significant amount of time talking about light language. We're aware this is new for some of you. While it may be interesting, you may have questions, but we don't want to always just explain the same thing in every episode. Thank you again for listening. Please subscribe. Please let us know what you think and 
go to our website, spiritualmindcenter.com, where you'll have access to all of our content, to our regular blog posts, to Sarah's lessons in light language for kids, and of course, um, please tune in every week. Thank you. How many spirits? <laughs> you ask a doozy one. We say there are as many ways to gauge spiritual energy as there are infinite number of points. Each point you can focus on for the infinite realm is one that can be assigned a spiritual energy. You understand? Yes. So, when we visit with your family and your friend, we are assigning our energy to a particular point, your family. You understand? Yes. And in doing so, we combine all that we are, all that we share, all that we have to deliver into a single point to bring forth clarity through char, clarity through your father. You understand? Yes. <laughs> and while there are a large number making up us, we come through in a single point in order to make sure that we deliver the most universal, the most healing, the most meaningful message that can be achieved at this particular time. You understand? Yes. This is the way that we can help the most is through the clarity that is brought forth from your family. There are many infinite number of spiritual points in existence and we are aware that countless numbers of you either listening now or in your own experiences have indeed been part of or have encountered these spiritual points at various moments in your lives some may say a positive experience, some may say a awkward experience, for it is not always planned to connect with spirit. However, it is always of value, we say. <laughs> you understand? Yes. Points, infinite points. We float, we weave, we live. <laughs> and we remember well the conversation you initiated about growth and love. Those points exist for that very reason. For there is no reason in any manner that any spirit energy should enter or touch without that goal of growth without that essence of love. <laughs> you understand? Yes. <laughs> How else may we help? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> we have no question for you, our dear. We always find it a pleasure to share any truth you may wish to bring forward to our attention and to the attention of those who look to you 
for help. <laughs> we see you bring a very good amount of help. We see you offer very nice questions and perceptions to those who are beginning to know what it is you have to offer. <laughs> you understand, we are always happy to share. At this point in the show, we'd like you to engage directly with us in a short guided meditation where Sarah and Bahlon will speak in light language designed to bring peace and meditation and focus to you while you listen. Did you know that light language is also known as language of the angels? It is said to remove energy blockages. And although it is recorded, the energy is still the same. So close your eyes. Relax, put yourself in a place however you feel best. For the next couple minutes, we will take you on a journey to the highest place we can bring through light language. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Naraka Marike Shalinduko, Tadiki and Noko, Nadeka Kola Sala, Kola, and Shal Kola Sina Wanakala, Gadasola Kitaketa, Kola, and Gana Sala Eno, Gadakumanakalisha, Alkalakaras Kanakarasi, Alkana Kamakashi and Toko, and the Kalakanaka, Nako, and Akai Ganasho. Monica, <laughs> Alakarasha <laughs> Thanks for joining us this week on True Future. Make sure to visit our website, spiritualmindcenter.com, where you can subscribe to the show in iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, or via RSS, so you'll never miss a show. If you like this show, you might want to check out our new book, Stepping Aside, Getting Out of Your Own Way to Reach Your Full Potential. It's basically the story of my interdispersed with wisdom chapters directly from Bahlon. While loan is available for private coaching sessions with my dad, just go to our website and our calendar is easy to book. Our kids can join their family light circle or I will do weekly lessons in light language and other cool topics just to kids like me. Ha <laughs> 